mechanical engineer department. And here is my email and my office just on the seventh floor of this building. Okay? Uh, I will uh, go through with you for the last two weeks lecture. Okay? The, this is the plan for the last two weeks, this week and next week. Today I will go through about the corrosion and the degradation of the material. And then Thursday of this week, uh, there, there will be a seminar about biomaterial given by Prof, uh, Prof Chiu Han. okay? So that's the, it's a seminar lecture and give you a basic knowledge about biomaterial. And then next week, uh, Monday and Thursday, I will go through about polymer structure, application, and the process. Okay, so that's the, what I'm going to do for these two weeks. Uh, I already uploaded my lecture notes for the corrosion and these polymers on the IVLE, so you should be able to get already. Okay? Now, without any, uh, for the more complicated uh, introduction, so I will just go direct to what I'm going to talk about, okay? The corrosion and the degradation, you might, want, you might wonder what's the difference between these two uh, words, okay? Now, just to give you a quick uh, summary of this, is the corrosion normally means when we discuss about the metal or ceramics, we talk about the corrosion, okay? And then when we talk about polymers, we hardly use the word of corrosion, but we talk about degradation of the material. But so as you can see, these two words actually have the same meaning, but it's just when we deal, deal with different materials, okay? When we deal with different materials, we use different, slightly different uh, terms here. The reason of that is we know polymer of plastic in general is quite high resistance to corrosion. Okay, so if you have a, if you look at any of the structure or building or any of structure outside, you will see a lot of rust uh, corrosion in, on the met metals or metallurgy, but the, you hardly to see any of the corrosion in the polymers. However, the polymer will degrade in the environment or dissolve gradually. Okay, so that's another phenomenon. Now, the issue we're going to address for the corrosion and uh, uh, degradation is covers why does corrosion occur, okay? And what metal are most likely to, uh, the, for the corrosion occurs? And uh, about what is the effect of temperature and the environment to the corrosion rate? And then how can we prevent the corrosion, okay? The reason we want to study all this is corrosion is the most uh, common problem in the en real engineer application. Okay, now you are the first year now, whenever you go to, you know, when you graduate, become an engineer or whatever, mechanical engineer, material engineer, or chemical engineer, you will deal about the corrosion, because especially like in the environment like Singapore here, right, very humid, near the sea, and uh, so the corrosion is one of the most common engineer failure problem you will see, okay? And also, you will ask one way or another about how to prevent corrosion, okay? So that is what I'm going to give you some introduction about of the, in, this, uh, in this chapter. Now, just uh, to give you a, 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 some academic term about the corrosion, okay? So any of the material, uh, we, because we can't use the material just by itself, we have to use the material in certain environment, okay? So therefore, you are using the material in a large, different, large variety of the environment, which is, you know, from one, one environment to another one is very different. Therefore, the material will react with the environment in one way or another, okay? So the corrosion is defined as destruction of deterioration uh, of the material because of reaction with the environment, okay? So the, the structure may be changed or their property were changed because the reaction of the, with the environment. Therefore, and the metal, we know metal is the most common material we use. And uh, in fact, during the, the corrosion or, or the, uh, there's actually material loss. 
So you will allow some kind of, some part of material. In other words, if you wait, let's say, start when originally you use a material which is like one, uh, let's say, a 10 kilo in the weight. After some time you use in certain environment, you, if you weight this material again, it might become somewhere 9 point some kilo. So you will have some material loss, okay? And this material loss can be, you know, affect the whole structure of interrogation, okay? Here it gives you a, uh, some example of the cost 